Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I'm back into woodland. Winter's fast approaching. And I'm targeting grey squirrels again. It's a different piece of woodland that I shoot and manage for landowners. Grey squirrels are out of control and they need managing in all parts of the UK. Here's my view from my eye. I'm accompanied by quite a few spiders actually in the eye. Now little critters don't bother me. But you obviously got one eye on them as well. My feed is set up roughly 25 yards from my eye. Now we're in here before first light. Weather weren't too clever. It was raining quite heavy. It made morning really gloomy. It didn't take squirrels long to make an appearance. And I think rain helped. I think they were just looking for some quick feed. Get back into the warmth and comfort of the drays. You can see. I've left ATN in 4K Pro in black and white. In night mode. Because that were a clear image. And I wouldn't have been able to see it in day mode. Because it was still really dark. Have a lovely clinical shot. First grey squirrel on deck. Anyway, take spoke shooting. We're at that crossover point between autumn and winter. You'll see a lot of activity. In this uh, little video clip, you see a rat I'm just having a blow on some sweet corn that's been discarded. You'll see plenty of robins, full of activity. And if you're lucky enough, you might even get to see the red squirrel. Now, for obvious reasons, we all know that grey squirrels are. Highly infectious to red squirrels. And we're doing his bit by controlling them. Again, as native squirrels, a chance to thrive. This weren't very long at all, probably 15 minutes from first squirrel arriving. And I see another visitor coming up to the feeder. It's still dark, it's still gloomy, so I've left ATM 4K in night mode still, and that enabled me to see crosshairs clearly and still take some shots when ordinarily in day mode you just won't be able to make it out, picture would be too grainy. It's a big advantage having a 4K, being able to switch between day and night at press of a button. This squirrel were a bit fidgety, one of its comrades is on the floor and I'm waiting for that perfect opportunity to take it out. I'm happy how session's going. That's two on floor already. I'm happy that we're a clean kill. Put safety on rifle. Put it nice and comfy, awaiting any more visitors. I love to see changing seasons. Leaves turning brown, red, yellow. And carpet and woodland floor. But these are familiar visitors to any woodland in UK. They are quite elusive and you don't get to see them very often. But on occasion they will visit your feeders. And it's personal preference whether or not you control them. And it's all governed by how many, how many there is and what sort of population there is in that area that you manage.
grey squirrels on the other hand are really abundant. I think official figures say there's around 4 million in the UK. Now, I don't know how the surveys are done. But you could quite easily double that amount. Let's say there's 8 million in the UK. So you can see, and you can do your maths and work out how significantly they outnumber red squirrel. Morning's got a bit lighter now. It's still raining, still a bit gloomy. I've noticed some more activity. What I did have, and I had this a few times, uh, one particular squirrel kept coming to the feeder. And every time I was just about ready to take a shot, it took off. I think it run nerved because there were a few on the floor. I did go out and do a pickup. But this time I was waiting for it. It comes to the feeder, ran off, done that two or three times. So I just left rifle in position. As soon as it sat up to feed, I was ready to take a shot. I really pleased that we're third squirrel at morning. This feeder, it's only early in the year. There is still plenty of natural food about. So I were really surprised to actually see them coming to the feeder as quick as they were. Like I say, I think a big part of it with rain, they were just after a quick feed, fill the bellies up, get a bit of breakfast, disappear back into warmth and dryer drays. At this time of year, you're going to see loads of wildlife. All after natural food, like acorns and beech mast, and what other natural berries and fruits they can find. And what they're trying to do is build up their fat reserves, ready for winter, and when birds like wood pigeons and pheasants go to roost, they like a full crop. And what they do is they slowly digest that food throughout the night. And that generates heat throughout the bodies. And that's what gets them through the really harsh weather and harsh winters. If you're lucky enough in woodlands, you will come across sparrow oaks. And again, they'll be looking at building up the fat reserves and looking out for little rodents targeted wood pigeons and other bird species as well. I've just sat there, as you do, in your own thoughts, putting world to rights. When a flicker of grey caught my eye around basic feeder again. This was a similar pattern to the last squirrel backwards and forwards to the feeder. I didn't have much time. It was steady enough there and I took a high neck shot and that pellet was several spinal cord. And after probably 60 seconds of thrashing around, this squirrel comes to rest. After watching, I've been content that squirrel had expired quickly and humanely. The time to put rifle down for five minutes, pour myself a nice mug of coffee, and just enjoy the magical atmosphere at woodland. Keep my eyes peeled, see what wildlife I can see, and pass away some time. And there's no better way to do it. This is just a quick round up at four squirrels that I actually shot on this morning. Slightly different format and they're going to be in slow motion.
So here we go. Ended up with four. Just chuck, checked uh, feed level. There's only a quarter of feed left. So there's got to be quite a few squirrels about. And they've got to have a good munch on that. It's only been filled about two weeks. Some of these squirrels are massive. This one here, it's the biggest squirrel I've ever shot. I'll try and get a better picture of it, but it's an absolute brute. It's a male one, it's not pregnant. I'm really happy with that. First session on this feeder, this autumn, come winter now, we're stepping into winter. Hopefully, sign of good things to come. This is that big one that I mentioned. Good size of bike legs. He's absolutely solid. Even eggs, heads big. Absolute brute that one. Massive. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you to everyone for continued support. Got any questions or you just want to leave some feedback please uh leave me a comment or a question in the comment section of the video i try my best to get back to everybody as soon as i can as always it's been a pleasure and i'll see you next one